After another incident of gun violence, concerns are high among members of Gainesville Police Advisory Board. Some feel the city is not backing up their words. TV 20's Ethan Badowski tells us some solutions they believe could help the city's crime problem. We are not doing enough. Sheila Payne is a member of Gainesville's Police Advisory Board and she is feeling frustrated. The board held a meeting in wake of two more incidents of gun violence involving Gainesville residents. Kachwana Frazier was arrested on attempted murder charges, accused of shooting her boyfriend. City leaders recently announced they'll be holding a summit about gun violence in this city come August. However, some members of the Police Advisory Council say that talking about it is not enough. When we're asked by the police chief every month what we're doing, my answer is I tutor, I'm involved in the community, I do a lot of volunteer work, but it's a, it's a, it's a society issue. This problem goes so far beyond this community, this, this state, it's the whole nation. We're, we're armed to the teeth, guns are too available. Earlier this year, city leaders declared gun violence as a crisis in Gainesville. At the meeting, GPD reported 28 incidents of shots being fired in Gainesville from January 1st to March 31st and four gun-related homicides. I asked both Blunt and Payne what are some solutions that could solve the issue. I want my young folks to find out who they really are in history because they have a distorted, devalued sense of self that has to be corrected before the violence stamps down. We need more one-on-one -on -one help, not leaders, community leaders getting together to talk. The city summit on gun violence will take place on August 6th and 7th. In Gainesville, Ethan Badowski, TV 20 News.